in which the border wall is made of water. This morning, I am heavy with questions, and the water in my body is a flood of bricks demanding answers. Would this regime deport my grandfather's body if they found him? Would they demand to see if he has the right papers to be buried in this graveyard? I mean country. I mean graveyard. Would they stack his casket, now gutted, against 100,000 others still spilling with limbs and call that a banned country or a border wall? How better to keep out the living than to kill them yourself? to make it policy, to stretch the ocean into a fence, or poison the water. My grandmother sits in our backyard watching over San Diego. She drinks from her glass, and it starts to rain. She kisses my father on the cheek, and the drought is over. When she speaks, it sounds nothing like a gun. When she speaks, no one dies. With this country still cut a border across my grandmother's tongue for the way her accent rolls out of her mouth like an avalanche of machetes or a flood of people trying to return home. How dangerous it must be to want to fall asleep with family in the next room to drink clean water in a city that is not on fire, to ask to keep your body alive until morning, from morning to be a quiet and stoneless temple. Today, I am heavy with hurt, and the water in my body is a stampede of boots, all running from an unhinged throat. <laughs>